Hey, welcome to Anatomy with Dr. Jasma. Today, let's talk about the prep use or the foreskin over the penis. Anatomically, the foreskin covers the penis right here. So this, this model has the foreskin removed. The foreskin is gonna come up and it's gonna go over the glands of the penis and it can be retracted back during urination and sexual function. There's this terrible misconception that the foreskin doesn't have nerves. Not true at all. It has terminal nerve endings from the pudendal nerve. So it's gonna be the S2 to S4 nerve roots. And then it has the same kind of nerve receptors, uh, Meisner corpuscles, that are in the skin, and on your fingertips. On the base of the penis, where that frenulum is, or posterior brachette, oftentimes with circumcision, it just depends on the skill of the surgeon and uh, religious views and other factors that we don't have time to go into, but oftentimes that frenulum is completely removed. And we know that this is a very sensitive area on the penis. Now, there's a lot of dialogue going on right now about male circumcision. You know, we, we know that female circumcision is considered female genital mutilation. Is male circumcision considered the same thing? You know, and it's such an interesting topic. I want you to follow this guy right here if you wanna learn more. How do you feel about circumcision? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to hear what you have to say.